can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here is Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Early connection with the left from the champ. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Front kick to the body by Lee. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. Superman punch lands. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Oh, that lead left. And he lands the hook. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Looking to land the right just out of range. Under three minutes to go in round one. Good stick. Good. Keep the pressure on. You're doing good. Unable to connect there. Great job landing that body kick. All right, he engages in the single follow tie. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Let's go, more, more. Leg kick starting to add up. Lance a good series of kicks here. Oh, nice straight there by Lee. Oh, nice inside kick. And again with the inside leg kick. The redness is obvious now. Oh. Beautiful takedown land there. All right, let's see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. There you go, again, half guard. Scramble. 
All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Oh, watch Guillotine here. That Guillotine is tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Making all these shots count. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Leg kick checked by Lee. 30, to go. Come on. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Under 20 seconds now to go. Ooh. Final seconds here. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh. Second round, straight ahead. Hey, stop. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? You ready. All right, round two. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Good jab there by the champ. Nice kick to the body. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lee's shot is blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it, but the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to deter him from doing this constantly. He has got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight. Nice job by him defensively there. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Devastating uppercut. Lands the low kick. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Here. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Start a mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. Right hook to the head block. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Nice kick. Good fight here, under two to go. That was a nice combination there. 
All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he needs to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, inside kick. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Able to land, but barely with that front kick. Oh, roundhouse kick. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on it. Under a minute to go in round two. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. All right, well, he said he was going to attack the whole leg, and he has not discriminated. Nicely done to the thigh yet again there. Another beautiful thigh kick lands for this guy. He's doing a good job of working the game plan. He told us that he saw a weakness. He wouldn't tell us what it was, but it seems as though that is the weakness he saw in the video. Oh, nice jab. 15 seconds to go. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Uh, round three next. Uh. All right, deep breath, man. Good round. That was a good round, but I need those kicks to land a little more. All right? You're not setting them up good enough, sir. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Rick. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready? You ready? Go Here we go, third round of this championship fight. So as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Good block. Oh, nice. Nice. Lee's got a nasty bruise, Daniel. You see it appearing there on the left side. You got to think all of that body investment by his opponent is going to pay large dividends as this fight continues. Fast jab lands there. Oh, you got to love the leg kicks, and there it is. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, he landed a near-perfect knee strike there. That was a massive high kick. Three minutes to go in round three. Swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. Right, but go. you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are... Oh! 
Oh my God, he's hurt. He's hurt. Beautiful spinning kick lands. Nice shot there by the champ. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the stick. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Less than two minutes to go in round three. The fighters on point tonight lands a beautiful kick. Perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Man! Oh, damaging knee to the head! Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Good. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Perfect execution on that team. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not gonna diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's gotta make his opponent pay for it. He was a Ready bit fight. lax in the defense, Ready. and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Nice jab. He's got the single collar tie. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Put your hands up and he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage. And Really springing there with a couple big strikes. Nice, good pressure. Keep going with that. Well, really playing to that length when he landed that punch. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, that one landed, yep. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. All right, so he continues to attack that upper leg area, and the thigh is really starting to show some visible bruising now. It's showing visible bruising, and you can see his movements are a bit labored. Look for him to try to switch his stances and try to hide that leg, because he has to do something. Heavy kick downstairs. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. 
came of inches right there, oh, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, at this point, he is black and blue all over, high-level damage, and I wouldn't be surprised, actually, even though it's body damage, to see the ref call in the doctor. It's almost over. John, this fight's almost over. At any point now, they can stop it. The doctor steps into the octagon. I believe this fight's going to be called off. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landed now. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Just over two minutes to go. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Straight punch lands. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. He's doing a really good job of getting on that high crotch and just following the action. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Lee gets caught by the inside leg kick. Oh, a huge block there. Effective punch from the clinch there by Lee. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Let him go. Let him go. Nice straight right, Lance. Under a minute to go in round four. Landed that one. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Leg kick lands. Nice jab by Lee. Nice head kick. Big inside kick. Final seconds of round four. Beautiful body kick. 20 minutes down, five to go. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Keep moving forward. Well, we've been talking about that jab and his perfect utilization of it all night long, and there it is again as he snaps his opponent's head back. You see the numbers bottom of your screen. It has been all about that short, crisp jab here tonight. 
Back and forth we go. Watch knees to the body. Landing a good series of strikes here. Beautiful combination there by Lee. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though, though, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice combination by the champ. Oh, head kick, bang. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Let's open up that cut door, Dad. He goes upstairs for an elbow. The kick is there to the body. Big body kick lands. Going for the head kick. He misses there. Two minutes now to go in this one. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Able to check that kick as well. Goes upstairs with the kick. Well, that strike landed, not going to help that cut at all. And I think for a lot of us non-fighters, it becomes hard to watch that area just continue to get targeted and bludgeoned. Over and over again. And it's what you're supposed to do yeah. as a fighter. You can't have heart as a fighter. you got to look at that thing. you got to look at that work that you've done. you got to take that canvas and you got to paint it, man. you got to get at it over and over again and continue to attack that same area. Feel sorry for the guy after the fight. Yeah. But right now, he's got to pay the price. Look at his calf, bro. It looks like somebody poured a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon on his calf and left it there all night. <laughs> it's all red and it's swelling. He's gonna have some difficulties. Look, it hurts right now, but I would not want to be this guy anymore. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Thirty seconds to go here. Whiffs on that offering. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Nice punch to the head. Final seconds of this fight. Great body kick there. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still.
the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's gonna.